Hi everybody, this is Cheryl Abram with Person Center Cyber. So I've come across CASP questions related to the Open Security Content Automation Protocol or the OSCAP. Uh, and I stare at them like a deer in the headlights. So to avoid that on the actual exam, I took a few notes that I'm gonna share with you today. So NIST created SCAP, which is a standard suite of specifications to evaluate security compliance. That's, and it's wonderful, it's really good. But RHEL 7, Linux was like, hey NIST, we need to automate this joker. And NIST was like, okay, cool, let's do it. Then MITRE jumped up like, hey, what y'all doing? Can we get in on this? So MITRE, NIST, and RHEL 7 Linux came together to create Open SCAP, which is the automated application of SCAP. Now the CASP question I had was related to this XCCDF document. Okay, so OpenSCAP allows you to automatically remediate systems that have been found uh, to be non-compliant. So for system remediation, an extensible configuration checklist description format or XCCDF file with instructions is required. Uh, an, an assessment of the results is performed by evaluating the oval definitions, okay? Now the process seems really simple uh, from what I can gather. Uh, I haven't done this, but I know about it. Um, but this, you know, this gave me a lot more information, all right? So Open SCAP is available on various Linux distros like Red Hat, Fedora, Ubuntu, and most recently it's available on uh, Microsoft Windows. Now, the acronyms associated with OpenSCAP, they're, they're nothing to play with, okay? So I did a word cloud made up of each term. So now I know if I see an N, it probably means national or network, uh, okay? And I do this because knowing what an acronym stands for, it really helps me make a better educated guess at a question that I'm, that I'm not sure about, all right? So that's OpenSCAP, and I'll see you back here next time.